country to bring you the best in top-ranked boxing. We're back once again at Resorts International here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Sam Smith along with Al Bernstein as we're ready for a night of fighting. And let's pick up the rules we're governed by here in New Jersey, Al. Well, as we see, uh, differs a little bit from Las Vegas where we were last year. Three judges will score, referee not figuring in the scoring. There is a standing eight count, and there is no three knockdown rule here. Scoring by the round system, but if we get a draw, there'll be a five-point supplemental system, and as is the case just about everywhere, the fighter cannot be saved by the bell except the last round. And, of course, one of the most important rules here in New Jersey is that they can stop it at ringside by the position, so we'll watch that closely if any of these fighters get into trouble. Light heavyweight are ready to start our program and as usual let's get the introduction and the official welcome from Resorts International from Michael Buffer. And now ladies and gentlemen from Resorts International Casino Hotel let's get ready to rumble this bout is scheduled for six rounds and it's in the light heavyweight division. The referee for this bout is Frank Cappuccino and now introducing first in the red corner he's wearing the blue trunks and weighs 164 and one quarter pounds from Lorraine, Ohio. His professional record, two victories, only one loss, both victories by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Beast Davila. <laughs> and in the blue corner, he's wearing the white trunks with black trim and weighs 172 and three quarter pounds from Jersey City, New Jersey. His record, five, one and one, four by knockout. Introducing John, the Italian Stallion, Frida. Well, as John Frida has quite a contingent of fans here in the audience at Atlantic City, Frank Cappuccino with instructions. I want you to understand what a good, clean, hard fight. Any low blows, any thumbing, healing, butting, the holding and hitting will cost you the round. When I say break, I want you to protect yourself at all times. You step back clean. In the event of a knockdown, the man standing, go to the furthest neutral corner, stay there until I call you back. I'll point to it. Both you understand? Both you touch gloves now. Good luck. Well, as the instructions passed out by the referee, good luck there at John Davila from Lorraine, Ohio. You see a second round knockout. That came over Overs Pollard in November of 1984 in his last fight. Pollard's opponent is John Frieda. Frieda from Jersey City, New Jersey. And you see he won a four-round decision over Tony Therese. That coming in November. So we'll find out how these two can fare here tonight as we get ready to go. As we're set to go six rounds. Javila, 23, 6 1, 164 and a quarter. We have one correction there on uh, John Fried, I believe, on his record. His last fight came exactly a month ago here at Atlantic City. And he lost the sixth rounder to David Burroughs of Philadelphia. So, a little correction on the record there by John Frieda out of Jersey City. 22, 5 10, 172 and three quarters. He fights in the white trunks tonight. Uh, stop rolling, stop rolling. <laughs> John Frieda, he is, uh, he admits, kind of a brawler. He said he's trying to do, get more defense into his game. He said in the last fight against Barrow, he felt like he was caught between the two styles, and that has happened to a lot of fighters. Trying to work on defense so that takes away your natural aggressiveness. Kind of refreshing to talk to him at the weigh-in. We asked him about losing the last one. He said, yeah, I lost it. I just wasn't ready for that fight, and after winning five in a row, lost for the first time. Looks ready for this one, doesn't he? At least aggressive anyway, going after Davila. Davila, as you can see, a very straight stand-up type fighter. Only lost to him in Pittsburgh to Gil Torres. Lost a four-round split decision, came right back and won over his brother later on. But nonetheless, that's his only loss with two wins prior to that. Good body work going downstairs is John Frieda. Excellent work to the body. Combinations too, and then he comes upstairs. There goes Davila. Davila goes down mostly with the body work, but finally a left hook got him. Davila getting up slowly. Frank Cappuccino right in his face looking carefully at the fighter. And here comes Frieda. There's that body work. Davila comes back with a counter left-right combination, but right downstairs again is Frieda. 
Davila has really been hurt to the body. He's landing a few counter shots off the ropes, but if Davila stays on those ropes, he's going to be in big trouble. He's exchanging with Frida, and Frida obviously the stronger of the two, so I love that that's one. Okay. Look for the uppercut. Remember, I told you look for the uppercut. It's there, son. You gotta. Stay You'll off. see John Frieda go to the body, and he sets things up with the body work. Good left hook underneath, and then uses the jab to set up a couple of his punches. And he really did a good job on the inside, and then hurt Davila to the head. And in a moment, he will send him down. Now that left hook to the body is really what did it. Nice. He mixed his attack extremely well, and from the other angle, you can see this. Banging away to the head, and then there's the left hook to the body that really hurt Davila. Nice job by John Frieda. Indeed it was. I indeed had thought it had been a left hook to the head, but it was the body work that he had used so well in round one. As you heard, of course, Roth Patsburg, known as Dutch, working with him in his corner. John Davila, that is, trying to get himself righted and ready to go for round two. And good advice from Dutch Patsburg. He told him to use the uppercut on the inside. It's the punch is there, and I think that, that was very good advice from Davila. Whether he can do it, I don't know. Oh, he's in trouble again. Another left hook to the body by Frida. Sends Davila into the corner. Frida goes to work downstairs. Not even concentrating about going upstairs, using that body work. And right there was where the uppercut would have been effective for Davila. Of course, he was busy trying to fend off Frida, but uh, Frida was right there for that punch. Kind of like looking an alley to duck in when you're trying to dodge a yeah, truck. That's true. You need to stay from outside the ring. Frida works downstairs extremely well. Said even though he lost the fight with David Burroughs, Burroughs may have gone home in a lot of pain downstairs. He put it a little more graphically than that, but we'll, I'll accept that for a <laughs> time. Those in the boxing world may know what we're talking about. Yeah. Frida is really mixing his attack well, and he is banging the body of Davila. And technically, he's a better fighter than he led us to believe. I, I mean, he's not a world champion right now, but he's throwing good, solid left hooks, and oh boy, that did it. They took their toll, and Frank Cappuccino said, that's too much, he's down. So this fight is over in the second round, and John Frieda, who came off a six-round decision loss in his last one exactly a month ago today here in Atlantic City, has come on so strong against John Davila to get the TKO here in the second, and he did look impressive in doing so with just probably one of the best body attacks we've seen in quite some time. He really did well. Now, part of that, as we look at it, was that Davila wasn't firing back as much as he should, but Frida, I think, is doing a good job in taking what's offered him, and that left hook to the body is what really hurt Davila. He had been hurt already before that. Uh, and as you look at John Frieda, I think an important win for this young man. He needed a confidence builder after the barrel fight. Uh, he did take kind of a beating in that fight, and I think for him, this is a chance for him to know that he can do some things in the ring. Good amateur career, climaxed by a light heavyweight Golden Gloves novice championship in 82 in New Jersey. Had some contract problems of his own when he turned pro in December of 82. Now he's on track again. He feels six and one with a win today. Let's get the official time of the TKO in the second. Here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Cappuccino stops the bout at one minute, 20 seconds of the second round. The winner, his fifth knockout, his sixth victory from Jersey City. Ladies and gentlemen, John, the Italian Stallion Frida. He does come up for the win. He moves to six and one. And we'll continue with more from Top Rank Boxing in Atlantic City in a moment. Back here in Atlantic City with John Frieda in the ring. And John, you just scored what had to be a very nice win for you because you were coming off that six round loss, which was a very tough fight. You admitted you were a little nervous about the TV appearance, but yeah. you fought extremely well. I had to keep my defense together. I had to, you know, avoid to get hit because mm -hmm. I got hit la too many times the last time. I hope to, uh, you know, improve more and more as I go along. Well, now, you mentioned the defense, and I thought you picked off punches. You slipped yeah. punches. Uh, Davila didn't do maybe as much counterpunching as he would have liked, but right. part of that was your doing, too. I thought your defense looked good. Yeah, like I told you earlier, I like, I like to go to the body, and you, yeah, as you saw, so. it slowed him down a lot. So we are just picked, once I had him in a corner, I knew he was mine. There was no rush, so I just picked my shots. That was it. All right, let's take a look at the knockdown in the first round, John. And as we uh, take a peek at it, you can comment. Well, I, ha I was going to the body, and now I knew he was going. So I just, I knew I had him down. I no, 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 it wasn't necessary for me to uh, hit him anymore. And this was the, the end of the point. Yeah. 
and I just picking my shots, looking good. I kept my poise. I knew he was going down. I said, no. He's, he, I knocked him down in the first round, knocked him down in the second. Doing really well. And this is my manager, Jim Wiley. Well, Jim, give us your report card. What did you think of uh, what John did? I like to see John a little stronger. You know, he fought the last fight at 167 pounds. This time we bulked him up a little bit, five pounds heavier, and he seems a lot stronger. Okay, you were indeed strong. Great body work, John. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, Good. let's go back to Sam at ringside. Thank you very much. As John Frieda, despite the fact that Jim Wiley looks a lot like Wolfman Jack, he was not here tonight. Rematch, Victor Claudia, Randy Jenkins next. <laughs> the bout of the night. This was my first fight of Vince when I got into the game. I see he's a light heavyweight now. This is John the Italian Stallion Frieda. He was campaigning as a super middleweight, wasn't he? Though? Right. Then. He was a super middleweight and he fought fabulous as a super middleweight. It's a big he punch. Seven wins, one loss, one draw with six knockouts. John Frieda now is uh, two years old. He didn't fight in two and a half years. He's coming in as a light heavyweight tonight. He's weighing around 180 pounds. He's fighting a, a tough opponent from Berkeley, West Virginia, by the name of Ber Gravely. Gravely just recently come out of the camp of uh, Barry Cooper. He was sparring with Barry Cooper, getting Cooper ready for a fight as a cruiserweight. Cooper's dropped back down into the cruiserweight division at 195 pounds. Cooper makes you earn your money. I had Bert Cooper. Uh, I worked on shows as a matchmaker for Bert when he was just a four-round fighter down in Louisiana. I had him out in Pennsylvania. And let me tell you something. I saw him work in the gym. Relentless. He's re as relentless as he is in the ring. Twice as relentless as Jim Day's in See, there's a very big question mark tonight here, Vince. Does John Frieda still have it to get back into the ring? Two and a half year layoff. He's coming in with a tough opponent tonight. You know, uh, after a two and a half year layoff, I don't care who you are, you know, you just can't execute what you want to execute. Your mind is telling you to do something, but your body's doing something else. Very rarely do they come back and are they effective. Ray Leonard was effective against Marvin Hagler. But people forget that earlier he came back and made a, uh, a return against a fellow by the name of Kevin Howard, and he wasn't as successful for that one. It's a tough thing to do, Jim, to come back after a long layoff, especially two years. Frida's got a big following here tonight. Everybody knows, I think. Well, I have a special place in my heart for John Frieda. I don't want to sound biased, but he was my first fighter. He's the guy that started me off, really, in the boxing game. Well, he should have, he should well, he saw what was happening. That's probably what brought him out. He should have stayed with you all along. He could have been right up on top right now. I'm sure you would have put him there. Or you would have, put him, you would have helped him put himself there. Well, I'll tell you, if he decides, if he can get past the first round, you might see one hell of a fight tonight. Well, you know, I think he's third, a little timid tonight. Third man in the ring is a very capable referee, Tony Orlando. Tony just recently refereed the fight with Mike Tyson and Tyrell Biggs in Atlantic City a couple months ago. A uh, very good referee. Oh, Frieda's not looking bad. He's jab and he seems to be stalking and hit him with a good left hook. Come right after him, Jim. Frieda seems to be coming right after him. <laughs> well, Gravely has a hell of a jab, man. He sticks that jab right out there. He slips punches Gravely well, too. Gravely seems to be pretty good. For a big guy, he moves well. Gravely's trying to figure him out. Have a little, little tough time because he's coming right at him. He's got to keep that hand up. Frieda's guys is a little too low for this type. You gotta get them hands up. Oh yeah, especially against a big fellow like this. He moved very well off the ropes. <laughs> well, he's been around. You can tell that he works with some some good no numbers because uh, 
knows how to stay out of trouble. That's the first thing you learn when you spar, especially with guys like Burke Cooper. Like I said, if Frieda can get past the first round, he's going to do well. So far, he's doing very good. He's being the aggressor. He's attacking. He's landing some good punches. He's got to take his time. He's going to the body. <laughs> He's trying to think too much. See, that's a bad thing. He's, he's been learning his lessons, but he hasn't been learning them enough to let it go fluently. Nice right hand. Yeah, he, he, almost, he, he almost took his nose off with that. When Frida gets inside, he's got to work. He's got to work inside. He's got to get a little more active in there. He's still leading with his head a little bit, Vince. Still with that head a little. Very accurate with his punching, Jim. Pretty is very accurate. Mix him up, throws it to the body, throws him to the head. Slips punches pretty well. He's really hitting his body. Man. Working the body very well. Nice That'll pay its price on later on. Third round, we'll see how much that paid its price. Most body punches sure take their toll. I gotta give Frieda the first round. I eternally give it to Frieda. the corner of uh, I'm gonna tell you something Vince. this ring girl is gonna put me in a coma before this is all <laughs> see uh, Bobby Miles working in the corner with John Freedom telling him to pace himself take his time it's been a lot of pressure on the guy Jim but I'm sure that uh, Miles is telling him to uh, take his time work off the jab he's telling him to uh, circle a little bit not to come just straight in like that and not to go back to yeah, come he, in or, or go out straight you should always move from side to side well this first round because of that ring rust i'm sure he'll improve as the fight goes on as long as he's in shape he looks very happy to be back in the ring he looks like he's not nervous this guy's a hell of a runner. He keeps running. He's backing up. He's jabbing while he's backing up bravely. You know, Frida's got to get them hands up a little. That's it. He's got to catch them jabs on the on the gloves. He's got to keep his hands up, as you said. This bravely throws a nice one-two punch combination. Good jab. He's using a jab a little more than he did in the first round. Yeah, bravely is uh, is on a defensive run here. He's he's, he's trying to counter off everything that Frida does right now. And landing some punches. What I think he's going to do is that maybe he knows Freed hasn't been in there for a couple of years and wants to make him move around a little bit, win himself. Uh, seems to me that he wants to keep Freed moving on him. Yeah, he knows that Freed has that ring, Russ. He's using his head. You know, you got to take every edge that you can get in here. Freed, I think, has to do a couple head feints and throw a right hand lead. It's, it seems to me that Gravely circling strictly to his left, uh, just as I say that, he goes to his right. Frida shouldn't run so much. Frida should just... If he's going to get him, try to cut the ring off. He's following him around right now. I agree. He's got to take his time. Try to get this fellow right in the center of the ring. Keep him in the center of the ring. Don't let him back up on you. Don't come in. Don't come back at you. Frida did a nice job tying him up. Frida's something like on the style of Sylvester Stallone, you know, in a Rocky movie. The more you hurt him, the madder he gets, the tougher he gets. So you got to learn to keep his hands up with a guy like Gravely. Gravely would be content to just pick away at you with the jab. And try to catch a napping on that right hand. John, John Frieda has to keep his hands up, keep moving from side to side, don't come in straight, and don't go back straight. Plus, he's got to get a little rougher in there with Gravely. He's got to manhandle Gravely. Nice 
Pitt's right hand lead by Frieda. He might have hurt him. Right on his nose. He hurt him. He hurt him with that right hand. That was a, that was a shot square on the nose. That's a tough shot to, to defend against. It hurts like hell. The, it just catches your nose right across the side. Well, now. I'll tell you, Frieda landed two or three vicious right hands there. Late there, trying to slide that right hand in if he if he had the opportunity. John Fried is going to have to head feint a little more, and not just come directly at him. Let him react. Right, feint, side to side, get out of the way and of that. Throw that nice right lead like he did early in the in the second round. I agree with that. Uh, you know, he has to use those things that he he had before. I think he was a little tight the first round. The second round, he made a few mistakes, but he's uh, he's coming around a little bit. We'll see this round if he's in good shape he should put a little pressure on this kid and this should be fresh Jim we hit him with a good body punch he's coming out throwing I think yeah, Gravely's making a very very big mistake trying to swing it out with John Frieda I think that's exactly what Frieda wants yeah. I think if he can if he can if he can suck Gravely into it Gravely's gonna stand there and bang it out with him I think it'd be his misfortune but caught Frieda with a good left hand and even phase him. Frieda could take a crack. But you know, you get cracked so many times. How many cracks can you take? Frieda's got to keep his hands up. We have a, a matchmaker here from known throughout the world, uh, Don Elbaum. We have him joining us now. Uh, Don, what do you think of tonight's fights? Uh, there have been two, and they've been great fights as usual, Jim. I love this one. I mean, Frida, exciting. The Rocky knock you dead with either hand. You can't miss him when you throw punches. Uh, he just makes for great fights. Uh, he put a couple of good shots in the body, I think. Uh, Gravely knows he's there. there. Yes. Gravely certainly aware that he's there. He is exciting, and he sure brings the fans out. A great night, Jim. You can't get in here. It's packed. Well, hopefully John Frieda comes out of that shell there and uh, starts to loosen up a little more. Because you've seen him fight many a times in Atlantic City. He fought for you on two or three shows. Yes, he did, and uh, always tore the house apart. His only bad point is he's very easy to hit. That chin sticks way out and he's very inviting. But fortunately, his opponent is not that great of a puncher. Good one. Good one. He's just got to learn how to cut that ring off. You know, he can cut that ring off a little bit. He saves himself that energy and, and get that head moving. Get out of that jab. He keeps that head right out there. Yeah, you can't miss him. That's right. Plus those hands are low. He's just looking to wind up. Tough kid. Tough, Tough kid. Exciting. This is what brings crowds out. One day he told me he watched uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, in a movie, and the next day he came out boxing. Don't be surprised if you're a little later in the round, you see him say, come on, go ahead and hit me. He's just about doing that now. How do you feel about two, two and a half years laying off from the game, Don? What does it do to a fighter? It, uh, it takes a big edge off, I mean, mentally, physically. Uh, uh, you know, it's always that, you got to have the real determination to come back. As, of course, talking to the other end of the spectrum of Sugar Ray. But John has always wanted to fight, of course. He got stopped his last fight prior to this. And uh, it's really a situation that uh, you sit there thinking for a year, year and a half, I can still make it. I can still do it. And here he is. He's taking another shot. Because he's sure is exciting. And that's what boxing loves. He's an exciting brawler, and he's in punch. Hey, Don, how did you see that last round? I think Frieda won. Frieda's winning the fight. Only way he can lose this is get knocked out. But I keep saying that Shin is just laying right there, and that bothers me. Good to be a little tired. Just breathing a little heavy here. I think, uh, you know, when you have this crowd behind, you usually go out there with the idea you're going to get rid of this kid in one round. All of a sudden, yeah. that's not happening. And yeah. it becomes a little different mental then situation. Then it becomes work. Yeah. Try to catch this guy going back with that nice right hand he's again. Keep, he's got to keep that pressure on. If he keeps the pressure on, bangs that body, it'll be fine.
first couple of rounds. Oh, you know, he's not used to getting hit. Uh, really bad. There's that crowd. That drives you that on. That crowd's bringing them on, That's what Jim. what you want to hear when you're in there. You're in the last round of the fight, Don. You know, uh, he came back with a four-rounder to see how he does right. before he decides to go on further and move up to sixes. A smart move. A real smart move, a four-rounder. Yeah. A lot of fight. Oh, I thought it was my first fight. I know. I, I remember. Know. I remember. You did a great job with him. Don, you had him on your shows. Yes, uh, like three City. times, I think. He's a smart kid to come back in the four. A lot of guys would say, I don't fight boys. Yeah, but smart. I think that's smart. You know what? There he goes. He's going out your best to smoke. Now he's mad. See him? That's it. Hit me. Go ahead. Hit me. Here he goes. He's mad now. They're loving it. Look at him, Jim. Crowd's on their feet. They're loving it. Seats now. Sylvester Stallone routine, and Jim. This is it. This is when he fights the best. He says, come on, help me. He goes. Nice left hook. Oh, nice. Right Reed is putting a lot of pressure on Gravely. He's strong right now. He's strong. What a, what a round. What a round. This kid Gravely is as tough as they come. Yeah, a lot of heart. Right up there. They're oh. all Taking those right shots now. square, though, Jimmy. They're both hitting each other at the same time. They're content to bang it out, these two. Make this fight back in a six-rounder. It'll tear the place apart. Make it a main event. <laughs> They're both good looking kids. They're talking about us. The Frida telling them to come on. Look at it. And Nick follows up with a nice right hand of his own. Gravely's very game. Gravely looks like he's winning, and now his legs are going down. He's got a good chin. He's a box. He's got a nice left hand. Excellent box of four right here. Excellent box. Gravely don't keep that right hand, though. Keep that pressure on him. You gotta stay right on him. Stay right, back him up. You gotta back him up. Gotta give him. Good. Great, great, great fight, Jimmy. I mean, very exciting. Very, very exciting. That's what you want to see. Fans are on their feet, Jim. Jim, make this fight back in Take this fight back again. You got to that matchmaker's dream, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's great. That's great. Love to have a fight like that. This, this could wind up being the fight of the night, and the rest of it could be great. But this is just what you want to see. Excellent fight on, on both parts. Both boys execute the trade things. Rita with the heavy hand. Raising with that jab. Excellent fight. I hate to be a judge in this situation. I think Frida won it. I think the pressure landed the better punch as well the four rounds. He does deserve the win. I think Frida, I give Frida a nod on that also. Well, I'll tell you, you'll hear this place raw if he gets the decision. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> so you want to leave us alone and head to Atlantic City, huh? I'll just go to the back of the room and I'll boo. <laughs> so between the three of us, we all have three today. I thought Frieda won three out of four rounds. I gave three, three out of four yeah. rounds. But you never know. I was watching a fight one night. I saw a guy get knocked down five times. And when the end of the fight came in the 10th round, he won the fight with unanimous decision. I remember that fight. It was on TV. I remember that a couple years ago. Up in New England. I remember that fight. Somebody had it even. decision. Somebody had it even. 38-38 for Frida and Gravely. With Milo Savage, 40 and 37. Tom Kazmarek, 40 and 37. The winner by majority decision, John the Standing. Good decision. I can't see a draw. Now I got a 
could have England could have started a draw. But this is a good player this season. Could have made for a great rematch over six rounds. Well, you know, Don, uh, I'm surprised that.